All right, hopefully you guys didn't click off the video just yet. I know that intro is a bit different than what you're used to seeing here, but it is what it is. I was jamming out in between a set of squats. And if you know me in person, I'm a huge fan of heavy metal and rock and roll. Uh, that's what I mostly listen to when I work out. I do throw rap in there every now and then, but uh, it just depends on how I'm feeling during the day. All that out the way, I am back guys with another Strongest 5x5. And this time, we are gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it steady. It's been a pretty hectic past two weeks for me. And I keep going on and off, on and off, and on and off. And I'm not trying to skip any more uh, workouts. Or not skip workouts, but I'm not trying to miss anymore. You know, I've been getting kind of complacent, I believe. Um, I'm trying to find my find my drive. I'm not, I'm not just avoiding the garage, you know what I mean? But just dealing with work and stuff around the house, it's... It's been a little bit more of a struggle to get back in the garage, especially with, with uh, what's going on right now. So that being said, uh, last week you guys saw me squat 405 for one rep max. If you haven't seen it, I will put the link in the description below or you can just click the last video. I don't know. And that was a lifetime PR for me. Um, earlier this year, I maxed out at 370 for one rep max. Now, given that was uh, beltless and sleeveless, uh, I don't really care. Like it was a plus 35 PR for me last week. And anyone who hits 405 for the first time, I'm sure like they always remember that. Same way you hit, when you hit uh, 225 for the first time or 315 for the first time, you always remember that. So that was pretty big to me. And uh, it was a long time coming. And I'm glad to say I did it with good depth and <laughs> proper form. Guys, I was really dialed in that day. I woke up not in the best mood. Um, I was hungry. And again, I was pissed off about something. I went into the kitchen and I made like a English muffin with two eggs. I ate that. And then like 20 minutes later, I got into the garage and started stretching out and warming up my squats. I hit 380 before I hit 405, and then from 380 I jumped to 405, and that's when I hit it. And as soon as I hit it, I just threw everything down, and I knew I could have just went for like 410 or 420, you know what I mean? And I felt like I would have hit it, but I'm gonna max out later this month, or not later this month, I'm gonna max out towards the end of next month, I should say, and we'll see where I'm at by then. So I was just so excited to get it posted that I threw everything down and just went straight to chopping off the video and made it into a short clip for you guys so also follow me on instagram uh, i will leave my thing on the screen somewhere i just made my page public recently and i've been getting a lot of recognition from the lifting community and a lot of support from a bunch of different people and it's been amazing <sighs> man i'm just i'm enjoying every moment of this right now honestly but uh i can't let that get to my head i gotta keep Keep grinding out these uh, workouts and try to be consistent with my posting for the channel as well. So here's 315 for a five by five. I think this is like my third time, third or fourth time doing this and it's gonna be my last time doing it on this program as well. So uh, enjoy it. I try to slow down and focus on my form in this video on a lot of my lifts and you'll see that as we go into the overhead press. Alright, so at this point, I had to take off my shirt because I was literally sweating bullets right through it. Uh, if you know me in person, again, I sweat very easily. Like, I'll go outside to check the mail. If I'm outside for like two minutes, depending on what I'm doing or how hot the day is, I'll just start dripping, man. I don't know what it is. You'd think after all the years of me being in Florida, I basically grew up here my whole life, um, that I'd be more acclimated to the weather, but. The heat just always gets to me and my body always tends to run hot for some reason. Um, yeah, so I just, I sweat very easily, but Friday night was completely different. I don't know what it was. The garage wasn't that hot. Um, I was excited and just like really hyper to get back into the garage and start lifting because it's been a little while since the full workout, my last full workout, I should say. And I did take a supplement from still from Still Supplements. Uh, I bought a sample pack from them. It was 10 bucks for a t-shirt, a shaker cup, and six sample pre-workouts and supplement stuff. So 
I took their lightest pre-workout, which was 175 milligrams of caffeine. And then like plus 2000, I don't even know how to pronounce it, some kind of chemical and then plus like 1500. I don't know what it is. I think that's what had me sweating. Cause I was like dripping the whole workout. Like I was in the garage for about two hours at the very most. And I was like sweating nonstop. It was messing up my grip on my overhead press, on my bench, uh, excuse me, my floor press, squats. Just, it, it really threw me off. And that's the first time I've ever been driven like that, you know? So it is what it is. I'm getting off track. Um, this 135 for overhead press five by five was very, very awkward. Uh, my form was not there. I was trying to slow down and focus on it. My grip was a little bit too wide than, or a little bit wider than usual, my usual. And just a combination of all these things kind of threw me off. So the overhead press is just a funky lift in general. If you're not doing it consistently or you come back to it after a while off, it will be a little bit weird. And, that's, and I kind of expected that, but I just, yeah, no excuses. I got it done. It just felt, kind of weird and oddly enough it's one of my favorite lifts to do and it's the one I do the the least because of this program but that's 135 for a 5 by 5 and let's move on to the deadlifts all right so here I wanted to play around with some hook grip after being inspired by some people that I follow on social media <laughs> And I don't know why I did this. I was <laughs> I was literally sweating onto the bar. I was losing my grip every two seconds. It was horrible. Uh, I was very unsatisfied with how I was moving it and my form, and my top lockout, it wasn't even complete. So that's why instead of a traditional one by five, I did a two by five with a uh, proper form and just taking my time on the second set because I, after I did this first set, I went back and watched the film and I was very disappointed with myself. I wasn't happy with it. So I said, let me go back and do it again. So here's a, a traditional overhand grip with good form. Uh, again, I slowed everything down. I really wanted to focus on squeezing everything and just pushing my hips through the bar or making love to the bar as Alan Thrall says. And that's a very good remember on your deadlifts. You don't want to just yank the bar up and stick your chest out. You want to make sure you're you're pushing your hips through the bar, essentially. So that is 330 for a 2x5, or really a 1x5, because this one's the proper form. So let's move on. And here we got the floor press. Uh, just the accessory work here. So uh, 215 pounds for a three by six, nothing special. Uh, just really want to focus on increasing my bench because I need to get my bench to 300. All right, and once I get to 300, I don't care what nobody says, y'all can't tell me shit. I'm about to be popping and we're gonna keep driving this through the damn roof. I'm telling you. So I'm trying to <laughs> really get my bench up there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna max out on that. I'll probably just wait until the end of next month and do everything in uh, one week so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah just been really inspired by watching some people bench and i want to get myself up there as well so my bench has always been weak even in high school uh, i did football and a little bit of the weightlifting team i wasn't crazy strong i think the most i did was like 250 on bench so uh, I really want to get up there. So that'd be uh, another big PR for me. <sighs> so that is floor press, 215 pounds for three by six. And let's move on to one of my favorite accessories, the chin-ups. All right, here we go. So chin-ups, this is just a body weight three by six. Nothing special here. Uh, I've been doing chin-ups literally every single training day since I started to incorporate accessory work and it's been getting easier and easier and easier every single day and I love it I, love, I mean it, I can't even tell you how much I love it but uh 
that's it for the video today guys i don't really got much else for you so i'm gonna let it ride out um guys thanks for watching please feel free to like comment and subscribe as always stay safe and i'll see you guys next time There you go. Never settle. There you go.